sure you're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Okay, so I don't know if this is a trend that's happening recently or if some like big website came out with this or something. I don't know. But I've been getting a lot of requests, like an overwhelming amount of requests for avocado brownies and avocado mac and cheese. But we'll start with the brownies. So last year I made black bean brownies because that sounded crazy and I wanted to see if it worked. And they ended up being, the spoilers, the best brownies I've ever tasted. You can watch that video after this one. Um, it's, it's really good. I really didn't think it was gonna work. I was a hater. I was a non-believer and it was so good and so fudgy and so great So a lot of people have suggested that I try avocado brownies since I love avocados so much I put them on literally everything sandwiches salads pizzas you damn it if an avocado can go on it I'm putting it on it avocado ice cream. Have you ever tried that don't knock it till you try it. It's freaking bomb It's really good. So yeah, so naturally it would seem like I would like an avocado brownie However, I don't know how I feel about wasting a precious avocado inside of a brownie where you can't even taste the avocado that's almost blasphemous to me, but we're gonna try it and I'm gonna tell you if it's tasty and if it's delicious I will highly recommend it to you and if it's not tasty I will say save your avocados because that shit is precious and it is hard to get at peak ripeness So, you know born and raised California girl a little protective of my avocados. That's all anyway Let's make this dish step one wine the step is optional, but I suggest you opt in I think I mostly want to challenge myself to see how many stain worthy items We could put in a video with a white shirt on brown Brownies, red wine. Can we get some pizza sauce in here too? So to protect my white shirt, I'm gonna be wearing this apron, this very snazzy apron. Let's make some brownies. Look at this gorgeous Haas avocado that we're gonna about to put into a dessert. It doesn't go there, we're doing it. You never know what's gonna happen on Tasty Tuesday. I guess I should get the recipe. There are a lot of different recipes for avocado brownies. I picked this one because it substitutes both the eggs and the oil for the avocado, but supposedly it's still all fudgy and delicious, so we'll see about that. I'm still a non-believer, I'm still a hater. Okay, step three. <laughs> Preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That was 350 in case you can't understand mumble. We're also gonna grease an eight by eight dish, which I don't know what happened to mine. I had one and I think one of us broke it and I don't remember who. I'm just gonna blame it on him. So Steve broke my pan and now um, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to modify this nine by 13 dish to be an eight by eight. Should I grease this still? I don't know. Might as well, I guess. So it doesn't completely replace the oil because Research. Now, in a blender, we're gonna put the following ingredients. Half a large avocado. I really hope this is ripe. This was the only semi-ripe avocado I could find at the store, and oh my gosh, it's, you know, our avo can't handle this. I will avo cut you to find out. Sorry, I was just reevaluating my life choices. Okay, half of a ripe avocado. I think, I'm pretty sure this is ripe. It feels like it. Yeah, that's good. Yes, hell yeah, I scored. All the other avocados at the stores were rock hard. So, you know me, I like them soft. Put that in your blender. One cup plus two tablespoons of milk. There's an old Filipino dessert that starts this way with avocados, milk, and sugar. That's the, that's the whole dessert. Yeah, Philippines. One fourth cup pure maple syrup. Are you pure? Yeah, right, you hussy. Half cup of coconut sugar, which I didn't know I had, to be honest. I found this in my cupboard. I was looking for brown sugar because you could, if you don't have coconut sugar, you can replace it with brown sugar. But I had it, so, nah, I'm winning. Okay, we're just gonna blend that for 15 to 20 seconds until smooth. Excuse me, turn your, turn your blender on, also, first. <laughs> All right, I would say that's pretty smooth. Seriously, you should get one of these. Vitamix, oh my God, game changer. Yeah, that does taste a lot like that Filipino dessert I was talking about. I'm like, I'm sold on this. This is great, I'm done, donezo. We can go. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, bye. I'm kidding, I'll finish it. I'll finish the recipe, don't, don't yell at me. Next, we're gonna take a large bowl and combine the dry ingredients. Dry, just like I like them. I don't know what this new game is. Okay, you need to not be startling. Did you see that? It's rude. Large bowl, you got it. Cool. Okay, it says to put one cup of spelt flour. If you don't have spelt flour, because you're not fancy, you could use all-purpose flour, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna do that. One cup of all-purpose flour. Spelt flour is probably way healthier for you, but you know what? We don't have it. Sorry, I don't know why I got so aggressive. One cup of flour. I forgot what we were doing. Half cup of unsweetened cocoa powder or cacao powder, which I can't say without thinking of that Portlandia sketch. Cacao. How much? Half cup? Jeez, that's a lot. A teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon salt. Wow, this is very large bowl for all just that. I hope we're adding this blended mixture to it. This seems like a lot of 
you know, big dish to wash. That's all, just wanna complain for a bit. Combine. A whisk to combine? Cacao! Yep, we guessed it. We're gonna pour the wet ingredients from our blender into the dry ingredients. They're gonna have themselves a big fat party. Hello. This is what four years of Tasty Tuesday will get you. Skills. No, no, that was a mistake. And we're gonna add a half cup of dark chocolate chips if you got them. I couldn't find them, so I got these semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are my favorite brand though, so I think it's still gonna be tasty. Oops, I poured a little extra. Darn. And we're gonna mix that all up. Chocobat delicious. Chocolate. Okay, yep. Still gonna reevaluate. Good. Okay, okay. So the batter, it tastes like a brownie batter, but it tastes like not that sweet of a brownie batter. Like, not like the box brownie batter that you get at the store. Like, this tastes like kind of a healthy brownie batter. Possibly using brown sugar might make it taste a little sweeter, but if you're going for healthy, then, you know, this is good too. So. Now the true test. We're gonna see if my half-ass pan hack worked. If it doesn't, we're, you know, we're blaming this whole thing on Steve. I don't really remember which one of us broke or lost this dish, but probably him. I'm just gonna spread this out, flick the spatula, and be like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's all okay, that's good. Alright, and then we're gonna put um, just a little bit more chocolate chips on the top. I wish I had bigger chocolate chips. I don't. We're gonna deal with what life gives us. Do you know what I'm saying? Slap it high. Now we're just gonna pop this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and it should be delicious. Hopefully, please, don't break my aluminum foil. Thanks. See you in 15. Excuse me. Hi, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna check out our brownies. But before that, I was looking through some old links from exactly a year ago, just to look at like, you know, Super Bowl recipes and stuff. And there's a video of me in the same shirt, drinking probably the same brand glass of wine. I feel like I should just make that video once a year and you could see like a flip book of age happening if you just watch all those videos in a row. Yeah, cool. No, that's a really depressing thought. I'm not gonna do that. Especially if we're still in the same kitchen. No, I like it. No, I like, I like this. I like this game. I like this life. All right, let's check out our brownies, huh? Oh my goodness. I think my baking pan trick worked. I'm so excited. I'm so smart. Whenever I do something that's my idea and I'm like, oh, this probably won't work and then it does, I feel so smart. Let's test with a toothpick. Oh my gosh, so not ready, so done. Okay, spoke too soon. We'll leave it in for a couple more minutes. This toothpick is very, very not clean. You're a dirty toothpick. You're very dirty. Dirty, dirty girl, boy, girl. You know, we don't have to classify you as a gender. More time. Five more minutes. <laughs> this is pretty wet. Just like I like them. Okay, it's been five more minutes. Hopefully our brownies are done this time. Please be done. Oh my gosh, making me look bad. Um, this is really not done. Um, yeah, this is not. This is not working. It's not working. I guess maybe more time. We're gonna put them back in for five more minutes. <laughs> Damn, I really wanted these avocado brownies to work so I didn't waste an avocado. Hey, it's been five more minutes and I think they're done now. I really hope so. Ow, drunk arm, stop. Burning me. Don't mind me, just a, a person with a drunk arm that got her arm burnt. Okay, I got places to be, people to see. Let's go, brownies. I think they're done. Okay, toothpick test is coming up clean. We're gonna let them cool down for at least 10 minutes and then we're gonna see if these motherfuckers is tasty. Are you ready? I don't care, you have no choice. So as long as you continue watching this video, please continue watching this video. I'm gonna reveal all of the answers soon, so stay tuned. Okay, it has been 10 minutes of cooling and I've cut a corner piece of this brownie and I must say, it does look very fudgy and delicious. Let's hope it's cooked all the way. By just aesthetically, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't, probably like not good lighting for you to tell, but it's really delicious looking. I have to give it an A plus on being delicious looking. Does it taste good? We don't know yet. But we gonna find out. Sorry, I was just uh, reevaluating my life again. We gonna find out. Okay, okay, are you ready to try some brownies? Or a brownie, because we don't want you to get fat. We love you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a brownie. Feel free to give your honest opinion. Do you like fudgy brownies or do you like cakey brownies more? I like brownies, I'm sorry. You like brownies just in general? Okay. Oh yeah, that's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's all. I was really scared. Is this like black beans or some shit? No. It's not? No. What does it taste like to you? Chocolate. Okay. It's, it's, it's chocolate. an avocado brownie. What? It's an avocado brownie. That's made with an avocado. That's stupid. It's so stupid. I know. Why are foods foods? But then I guess when you think about it, like why do we think that an embryo 
video from a chicken and like a oil that's like squeezed out of different vegetables is more normal than just an avocado being in there. Yeah, I have no idea. You know, whoever invented the brownie at first was like, we gotta get like a witch's concoction. Yeah, and then, then the guys at egg companies are like, this is the only way to make cakes, we swear. Yeah, that's the only way. Oh, we swear, we do swear, <laughs> we do so solemnly swear, sir. So. Cause there's no oil in that and there's no eggs. It's just the avocado replaces both of them. Dude, big eggs are screwed. <laughs> They're screwed. Big, big egg is finally getting their, their getting their due, man. Big egg. Oh yeah, big egg is uh -huh. so screwed right now. They're like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, because it's just as fluffy and stuff. Because usually eggs make it more fluffy. Yeah, but a lot of people are gonna hear you right now and they think that I like all this organic food shit that thing. No, he doesn't. It's yeah, actually exactly. like pulling teeth to get him to eat organic. I don't like stuff. it. So this is legit, 100 percent legit. Also, I'm like, I don't tell him what's in it before he tastes it. Exactly. Because so I am biased. It's tasty. Very. It's, it's tasty. I don't know the difference. Let me try it. I was scared because it felt like it wasn't cooking all the way. Okay. Well, it's really good. It's super, super good. I think I like the black bean brownies a little bit better. I however, can't however, I think that if I if you used like regular sugar, like brown sugar, and you weren't trying to be like healthy and using like coconut sugar, I think it would have turned out more like how I like it, like sweeter. It's really rich and delicious. Also, if you like cakey brownies, you probably wouldn't like it because this is more fudgy and it's more like not quite cooked all the way type brownie, if, which is what I like. Yeah. Some people don't like the uncooked flavor. They like the edges of the brownie. Oh. Oh, I do like more. that, the texture of it. Yeah, well, I like the like uncooked, like I'll just eat the batter. <laughs> like it can basically it. just be batter. But this is really good texture wise and, and it's rich in, in chocolate. I like that like just fake sugar flavor. <laughs> I like just eating something and I'm like, oh, that tastes like a brownie. The fact that an avocado made this though is like crazy to me. I don't know if I would waste my avocados and brownies, but. It's probably way more expensive to make this. Yeah, <laughs> way more expensive. Oh. You can do black beans. Oh really? The black bean right. one was so good. What's you cheaper, eggs or black beans? Black beans. Always could, get the deal. Unless could, there's an egg deal, then get that deal. They could sit on your shelf for like a year and still be good. That's pretty cool. Anyway, it's tasty. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.